In mid-2256, the USS Gagarin, NCC-1309, Shepard class, the USS Hoover, and the USS Maroque were all simultaneously attacked by Klingon forces. The ships were attacked far apart from each other to prevent the other from arriving for rescue. Using what was classified at the time as an invisibility screen, at least six Klingon ships would drop their screens and ambush the Gagarin. The warp drive of the Gagarin would be knocked out in the first volley. Captain Tashin Koval would send out a general distress signal on subspace frequencies. Utilizing its spore drive, the USS Discovery would come to aid the Gagarin. Captain Lorca commenting, This is the USS Discovery. We got your back. The USS Discovery would begin firing on Klingon vessels to draw them away from the Gagarin. The Gagarin would drop under the Discovery in an attempt to escape from the attacking vessels. Captain Lorca would ask Coville if he could go to warp, Captain Coville stating that the warp drive was still inoperable. The Discovery would continue to fire on the Klingons as they cloaked and uncloaked, specifically focusing on Klingon vessels that would be targeting the Gagarin. The battle would become more desperate as Mr. Reese, Discovery tactical officer, stated that a Klingon destroyer was decloaking right next to the Gagarin. Two battle cruisers would open up on the Discovery, trying to draw it away from the Gagarin. The Discovery would stay focused on the battle cruiser, forcing it to pull off its pursuit. With the battle cruiser pulling off, two birds of prey would begin attack runs on the Gagarin itself. The USS Discovery would attempt to get in between the torpedoes and take the hit for the Gagarin, but it would be too late. The Discovery would only take one of the torpedoes, and the other would slip by. The Gagarin would be destroyed. The USS Discovery would utilize its spore drive to escape. It would be determined that the invisibility screen that protected the sarcophagus ship was now being installed on all Klingon ships. The war had fundamentally changed, and the Federation was once again playing a defensive game in a war they were, once again, now losing. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this battle breakdown. It's rare for me to do a video on Saturday, but because last week was a holiday and I missed both a video and a live show, thought I'd give you a treat. Hey, please consider sharing this video. The bigger I grow, the more I'm able to do things. Thank you so much. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And guys, I'll see you on the next. Lore Reloaded.